governorship seat. Supreme Court judgment re-echoes as Okorocha roars. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Former Governor of Imo State and Senator representing Imo West Senatorial District, Senator Rocha Sokorocha has again come up with expressions about the politics of a state. Apparently not satisfied with development in the state, he was in charge for eight years. Okorocha has taken an indirect tackle at the process that sought at the present leadership of Government House Oweri. A news item trumpeter mentored monitored the former governor while answering questions on BBC Igbo regretted how someone who knew he did not win but for some forces became governor would come to claim to be number one citizen of a state. Commenting on the concluded Anambra governorship election, the senator said to be eyeing the presidency come 2023, expressed that the election was successful, free and fair, unlike any more state where some people wrote results and submitted to the court and were declared governor. Said he, you know, you can be a governor, but deep down in your heart, you know you are not the governor. You came through the back door. It hinders growth and development. Senator Okorocha went further to state that the reason the All Progressive Congress, APC, lost Anambra was because the wrong candidate emerged through what he was, through what he alleged was a fraudulent primary election organized by those he accused of being known for rigging and writing results. Even as Okorocha did not mention names in the interview, his views may not be the first from political development in the state since he left office as governor. Apart from not working with the mainstream or progressive Congress APC state structure in Imo, the present administration has been daggers drawn with him since he ceased to be governor in 2019. At the end of the day, when you hear things like this coming from people who <laughs> themselves uh, will I say they're in the same clique, like their colleagues, you help to, you, you cannot but help to marvel, like, so those people know what is actually right. At the end of the day, everyone is not, is not in the, in the dark. As in, you can't come out and say, ah, I did not know. Uh -huh. It is true that you know. So at least it's a good thing that he knows about it. And he knows the truth. But speaking up now to me is like, <laughs> there is no use. Sincerely, and uh, their comments about this particular man working hand in hand to remove the elected, the seated governor and the person of governor in Hedioha. So, um, I don't know how true it is. I don't have first hand information. But uh, the thing is, at the end of the day, their colleagues, like <laughs> Richards, is a name that um, is very, very common. And of course, we all know what that particular name did when he was in government. So, I, but I cannot, I cannot help to ask. Sincerely, in this country, it is high time we start judging people from their past. Yes, in this case, it is very necessary. And their past, what I mean, that past is their past positions held. Like somebody wants to come out and become the governor, you, you kind of weigh the person, whatever position he or she has um, old maybe in the ministry or elsewhere. You kind of weigh what the person, how the person gave value, how valuable the person was. The person, someone who who carried people along, is the person someone who prefers solutions, is the person someone who handled that particular office beautifully well. Like, if you're going to be scoring the person, would he be scoring above average? This is what we should be looking into because. A lot of governors who are really, really not doing well. Huh. I don't want to start calling names. A lot of governors who are not really doing well presently, they want to come out and become the president. I'm like, ah, uh ah. -uh. Hey. I'm like, these people don't have conscience. Presently, your people in the state are not happy with the way you run things. And you are coming out for presidency. My annoyance now is not about those people because everybody is... You know, everybody is free. Every citizen of Nigeria, you can express yourself and you can come out to run for any office. So far, you're not a criminal. 
But my problem is people will see this and will still go ahead and vote for this person. That is my only annoyance, to be very sincere with you. That is my annoyance. And I keep asking myself, why does it have to be like this? Like, why do we have to see these things and still go ahead with them? There is nothing like two of a lesser, one of a lesser evil. If something is evil, is it evil? It goes a long way. What he's saying now is he goes a long way to, to, to say he, he knew what was going on. That means people knew. Even the Supreme Court themselves, they knew. Yes, they knew what they were doing. Nothing like you didn't. You can't fool anyone to saying, oh, you did not know one. Because this particular man now seated. It will bring back a lot of memories. This particular man seated in the, as the governor of Imo State now. He was not a second runner up. He was not a third runner up. He was actually the fourth runner up. And I keep asking myself, they say in, major, in democracy, majority carry the vote. But unfortunately in Nigeria, minority carry the votes. Like minority. To be very, very sincere with you, minority carry the vote. And you keep asking yourself, where is now the democracy? An number of elections has come and gone and they're trying to do something very similar to what they did in most states. And I keep saying that, if you do that, all those who are going to come and start asking questions that, oh, um, you know, these people, they are troublesome. These people, they like trouble. These people, these, these people, that. They, 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 they are very disobedient and all. Come and see what is causing it. This attitude of an election, you come out, you do, you finish. An election is free and fair. Everybody goes home happy and the winner is declared. And someone from nowhere just zooms and just crash into the courtroom. And the courtroom will just award that person as the governor. Everything should end this year. Sincerely, I just strongly just hope that it ends this year. Because this thing, to me, it is, it is so unfair. And it is what we refer as to as you robbing, how am I going to put it? You are robbing the people of their choice. That means, I keep asking, if you know this will happen... Then I do not think that an election was supposed to happen because you would not have allowed people to make their choice. But unfortunately, we're in a democratic system of government and these people have no choice. Now, we are even thinking that with democracy, we are safe until they showed us that they can be Supreme Court governor. That is why for years to come, for years to come, you see that particular sitting governor, he will never, most of them will not even <laughs> address him by name. It is going to be referred to as the Supreme Court Administrator. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for sending in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.